Our next guest's job has never been more important. He has spent his entire career in the bond markets, heading uh, via the private sector to positions advising nations from Canada to Japan about their bond sales. Currently, he is chief executive of the UK Debt Management Office, which oversees Britain's money raising. Uh, joining me now is uh, Robert Stamen. Robert, thank you very much for joining us today. Now, some, some good news. It's been a very tough job, I'm sure, over the last year or so. But Britain has sold 30-year uh, Treasury bonds now at its lowest yield in the target range. Uh, that must make you happy, does it? Uh, it does, and you're absolutely right. Yesterday we sold a new, uh, effectively, benchmark 30-year mm -hmm. bond via syndication in $8 billion in size, which was certainly larger than we would have anticipated uh, just even a few days ago. And right. I think it shows the strength of demand in the market for UK government debt. Mm. Now, the, the demand has been increasing, and it does seem to be quite a lot of demand for it. It's, I find it quite interesting because obviously there is this sovereign debt issue right across Europe and, and indeed in the UK as well. And yet the, uh, this 30-year bond selling very well. Does that show confidence in George Osborne and the current austerity measures? What, what's, what's the cause of it? I think it's probably down to a number of factors. I mean, I certainly think it does show confidence uh, in the UK, in the current government. But I think it also is a sign that actually government debt um, is still, notwithstanding all the stresses which you quite rightly refer to, is still something that is highly sought after, mm. especially at a time of increasing volatility. Mm. And I think for the UK, perhaps at the moment, there is an argument to say that we may be regarded as being slightly outside the eurozone mm. and therefore benefiting and is there also an argument that says that this shows that investors are concerned about economy they're concerned about slowing growth and that's why they're looking at bonds absolutely and I think that while we're pleased in terms of the yield that we are able to achieve mm -hmm. and you're right to point out that it is a very low yield certainly also in his in a historical context um, low yields are also determined very much about by expectations about monetary policy and I think that's very true. Mm. Now, we had uh, Fitch coming out and talking about uh, George Osborne's emergency budget and saying that it was a very strong statement of intent. Uh, you, you know, did you look at that budget and think, OK, right, this is going to make my job easier now? Well, I think to a certain extent, obviously, it has. And if you actually look at the numbers last year, last financial year, we had to raise over 227 billion mm. and it was announced in this budget last week that we're looking to raise 165 billion so that's more than 60 billion in terms of reduction yes. I would add the caveat of course that 165 billion is still a large amount in the overall context and certainly historically a very large amount and how much foreign demand is there for the guilds uh, foreign demand has been increasing over a number of years and at present it does seem to be quite strong mm -hmm. in particular in the shorter maturities so really probably up to about 10 years but it is an increasing factor and traditionally foreign investors have I think focused very much on the mainstream markets mm. such as the US Treasury market the Bund market they are also looking increasingly at the UK market okay well, Robert Stamen thank you very much indeed for joining us from uh, the UK debt management office thank you, thank you.